Hey everybody, welcome, welcome back. It's Betsy from ME My Hook and I, day 14. Wow, wow. So we are past the halfway mark here. And I have to say, at this point, I, you know, I am filming these ahead of time because I'm swatching these out for you. Yesterday was um, a caked skein, uh, mini skein. And I have to say, after hand winding, not even half of these yet, <laughs> yet to swatch out for you. I have mad props for, uh, I forget, let's see, I'll look it up again. Anyway, mad pop props for yesterday's skein being all caked up because I can tell that this one is not, and I, I am like, I, I have a cake winder. I'm not a fan of hand winding yarn, but I'm doing it for you because it is cool to see how all of these are swatched out. I'm really enjoying seeing how they're making up and kind of, I feel like this is really geared most of the time Yarn A, even though they have crochet patterns in their subscription boxes. I mean, most crocheters, we don't all, we don't buy this quality of yarn all the time. We're usually doing our big box stuff. It's, it's a treat to get to work with a hand dyed skein, I think with crochet. And I love that she's given the crochet option on these cards because I think some of this is working better for cro for knit than it would for crochet and uh yeah you're probably seeing that as I'm coming back and doing the swatches so this is a fingering weight yarn from chicken coop dive works a texas-based company offering unique colors and on luxurious bases I wonder where in Texas they are located. Maybe there'll be another contact card. All right, so it's a fingering weight. We have ridges and lace. Looks like the swatch is gonna be some half double crochets. Ooh, this is beautiful color. This is like the crayon cerulean, which is my favorite color in the crayon box. I, I wouldn't say it's like 100% all my favorite color all the time. It is my favorite crayon though. So the base is, it just is Leghorn. I'm guessing that is a the manufacturer of who this is. It's 100% Superwash Merino. The colorway is ice. Love it. 30 yards. We will be swatching this up and show you some pretty lace. Coming up. We're on day 15 of the... Oh, interesting. I just noticed this is the first one that has a sticker instead of just a clear... <laughs> instead of just a clear dot. That caught me off guard. It is day... <laughs> it's day 15 of our 24 Days of Yay Advent Calendar. I have been opening these up so far and telling you what they are and then swatching them up for you. So without further ado, I have, let's see if I can get this open without tearing the sticker or the bag. Maybe they suddenly ran out of circle dots. It'll be interesting to see if tomorrow <laughs> has a pretty yarny sticker or back to the clear dots. Okay, oh, I didn't do a field test. It's yarn, I can tell it's yarn but it doesn't feel to be very much of it. So let's see what we got. Not all swatches have been the same and maybe this is not just yarn. This is interesting. I see two different things in here. All right, interesting. Haiku by Skasel, maybe? S-K-A-C-E-L. Haiku is a signature line from the iconic brand Skasel Knitting. Okay, that makes sense why I've never heard of it. <laughs> no knitting for this girl. Based in Kent, Washington and owned by Karen Skasel. More go to skaselknitting.com. I apologize if I'm butchering her name. The featured yarn is Simpar and we are swatching it on the bias with some half double crochets. So, but there is something else in here. Oh dear. <laughs> Oh dear, I, um, we may not be swatching this. I tell you what, I will give it a crack, a crack at it, 
but I have a feeling this is, you know, she is known for knitting. And I have a feeling this is not going to be a crochet friendly yarn. Okay, it appears to be though caked up and I will give her all the mad props for that at day 15 of me having to um, wind all these various different yarns. So let's see. On the bias, huh? This bag contains 50 yards. We have um, 81% alpaca. I will give that to you. It is very soft. And 19% nylon. All right. I will give this a good college try. Once again, I'm filming this, opening the bags. Then I'm swatching them and coming back. So... current me is really gonna <laughs> is gonna be fascinated to know what future me thinks about swatching this <laughs> this might be another one that goes into some of my uh tapestry weavings we shall see and it's making an interesting kind of crunchy sound in the bag so I have been swatching these out for you guys and coming back as my future self and letting you know what I really think about the yarn for crochet because I do not knit. Okay. So I pulled everything out at the same time. Okay. We have, we have, we have Yarn Hero. Yarn Hero Fiber Arts is run by Linnell Kozer out of her home studio in Frederick, Maryland. Learn more at yarnhero.com. As always, this will be linked in the description. Our featured yarn is called Color Mix Sock. Ooh, I wonder if she plied these herself. And look what a cute little presentation she did. I love that. <laughs> Okay, Yarn Hero, I hear you. As a crocheter, I might disagree. It's a step away from the acrylic. Yarnhero.com. Okay, Color Mix Sock, 8020 Superwash Merino Wool and Nylon. Heavy fingering, I would agree with that. It's not quite a DK, but it's still not, as, not the skinniest fingering we've had in our pack here. Yarn Hero's Color Mix Collection is hand-dyed and locally milled. Wow, that's really cool, actually. Resulting in gradient colors that shift, marl, stripe, and shift back again. No two skeins are exactly alike. Very cool. All right, we will swatch that up. Let's see what it has us doing. Our swatch it sample is called Simple Lace. Looks like we're going to be doing some double crochets and some chain two spaces. So we will flash forward to the future and here it is all swatched up. So we have been squishing the bag and this is most definitely another yarn. So let's open it up. We switched back to the clear stickers if you saw that the other day. All right. Here goes nothing. This I've been really enjoying this. Oh, don't tear my bag. Yeah, no, I'm being a little overprotective. Okay. All right, all right, all right. We have Kelborn Woolens, founded in 2008 by Courtney Kelly and Kate Gagnon Osborne. I hope I said that right. Kelborn, get it? Kelly and Osborne Woolens is yarn for knitters by knitters. Well, as a crocheter, let's see what we can do with this. The featured yarn is Andorra, and we are swatching it. It says mitered and granny squares. So, without further ado. Ooh, that's interesting. The color is inky black. We have 60% merino wool, 
20% highland wool, 20% mohair, 37 yards. Okay, all right. You know what that looks like to me? It says for knitters, but it kind of almost looks like a Z-twist. So that's gonna be interesting to work with. Um, let's see. We're starting to chain three and double crochet in a ring. So I guess maybe we are doing a small little granny square out of this. All right, let's see what future self has to say.